Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Bruno Czech Republic, Yuri Denisa Koshasa. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai fighter holding a professional record of 28 wins, eight losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Jan Blakowicz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Great. All right, so here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're gonna get a kickboxing match here in the octagon. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. fight here. Good punch land. Missed with that right hand. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Digging kick. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Big knee lands to the body. 
just misses with the jab there. Wachowicz gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when the opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Trying to establish that jab once again. Beautiful body kick. Big power shot there. Look at him whip this hip into that kick. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next right, round. Right. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. That one snuck in. Nice strike. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Wahovich gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Landed a big kick there. Oh, straight right. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Which is kicked to the body, that one blocked. Hey, he's off balance. Take it down. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Whiffs on the right hand. tie here. 20. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. It's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And what a round! All right, 
right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, five minutes remain in the fight. How about that chin? Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Let's go, get off first for me. Let me show you the head strikes. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Just missed with the left there. Oh. He had it hurt. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Mixes it up nicely in terms of... Oh. Both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Good stick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, wow! Head kick. his opponent still stand. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Trying to stay in this fight! He's hurt. Wachowicz well, gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. His kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Left change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. They go the 15-minute distance. What a fight. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. We play the winner by unanimous decision, Young Nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just lead the judges out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight and he gets a dominant decision. Oh, please stop harassing me. Try 